nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is Christ Jesus our Lord. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, we thank you for granting the joy of experiencing thy love. Help us to realize the love that was granted upon us. Enable us to use the love that was granted to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As we all are aware of the truth that Paul was writing this letter to the Romans when Palestine was under the Roman rule and most of the countries were under their administration. They were very powerful and they were claiming that they were all blessed by all sorts of blessings, mainly in terms of economical control and political power. In that context, Paul wanted to establish the law of God, that is Christ Jesus our Lord, is very, very significant. Not the money, the power, political power, social status. But those who live in Rome must realize the true meaning of love that was exhibited by our Lord Jesus on the cross. As we all know that most of them who were in Rome were either directly involved in the administration or indirectly supporting the Roman rule. Some are in their military, some are in administration, some are advisors to the government, some are bankers, and they were all somehow connected with the Roman power. Now, Paul wanted to teach them more than that these things, the love of God is very, very significant, which was demonstrated on the cross. Romans verse 8, chapter 8, verse 39. Let me read from verse 38. For I am convinced that neither death or life. He speaks from his own experience. Once he was very powerful, he was supporting Jewish administration. He was very fanatic. He was after the young Christians to persecute them, to threaten them. That is recorded in Acts chapter 9. Romans 8, 38. For I am convinced, for I have been experienced, for I have been seeing, for I have been witnessing that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height or depth, nor anything else in all creation, which means what you have been experiencing. That is, Romans 
were experiencing nothing of any creation will be able to separate us from the love of god that is in christ jesus our lord above all the blessings which they were praising the love of god is very important and the love was made available to all of us and nothing can separate us from the love of god love of god protects us it guides us it is a force and he want them to understand this very basic truth and that's why from verse 28 romans 8 verse 28 to the end of the chapter he was explaining how lord jesus is greater than all these things and therefore it is very significant they need to realize verse 28 and we know that in all things god works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose now he praises now he encourages who have already accepted the love of god those who have understood the love of god should also love god that is reciprocal things that were required as per the advice and teachings of st paul god loved them they have to love in turn and we know that in all things god works for the good of those who love him the simple condition that can be done paul makes them to realize the need of understand the meaning of love and the need of loving our lord jesus this is a simple investment simple exercise when we do this all good things will be done for us this is a simple attempt and we need to seek god by loving him when we do this everything will be in favor of us because when we love god there will be joy and there will be enormous blessings first john chapter 4 first john chapter 4 let me read verse verse 8 whoever does not love does not know god because god is love john was teaching the local communities through his letter through the first letter he wants the congregation to understand the true meaning of love whoever does not love does not know god he teaches them teaches the new converts to love everybody without any kinds of discrimination if we understand this meaning and start loving all human being god will be in favor of us whoever does not love does not know god the very important truth of knowing god will be lacking 
when we fail to love fellow human being because God is love. And that's why when John wrote his gospel, he was <clears throat> recording the preaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. God so loved the world that he has <coughs> sent our Lord Jesus. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. God has plan. God wants us to know that his plan is to make us human beings because he loves us. He has sent his one and only son. And Jesus interpreted the meaning of love throughout this ministry and finally it was well demonstrated on the cross. Even when Paul was writing chapter 5, Romans chapter 5, in verse he says, Romans 5, 8, 5, 8, But God demands said his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. When we were still sinners, Christ died for us. At least during this Lenten season, we must realize this meaning. Still when we are sinners, while we were sinners, Christ died for us. These are all new teachings. And these teachings were strange to them. And Lord wanted to know through St. Paul. And that's why these teachings of St. Paul on Christ became so familiar. And finally, the seat of the head of the church was created in Rome in Vatican. They were preserving the church for the last first 15 centuries, only after Martin Luther in the early 16th century. There was reformation and there was split. Even 500 years before Martin Luther, there was first split. They call it as great season. They call it a great season in the year 949, 949. The Eastern Orthodox churches, they wanted to have their own way of worshipping God. And they are now called Eastern Orthodox churches. They comprise more than 60 crores all who are in Russia, Ukraine, Uzbekistan, and other former USSR countries, they all come under this sort of worshipping people. That is, Eastern Orthodox Church. It is governed by patriarchs. patriarchs. They wanted to have their own administration, but not the Roman. But anyhow, they were thriving and they were able to establish the number one church having the red quarter in Vatican. They were able to understand many lay leaders. They were thronging to Rome to know the word of God and to understand the meaning of the gospel. Paul continued his teaching by his writing that 
no one can be against us nothing of any world power will separate us from the love of god let us commit ourselves to be a witnessing community popularizing the meaning of love in order to create the kingdom of god here in this earth let's pray gracious lord we thank you for the teachings of saint paul through the letter to the romans help us to understand his writings and enable us to be thy witnesses to build thy kingdom in this world in jesus name we pray amen